What could have been? Today I'll be showing you my copy of Strange Brigade Collector's Edition for the PS4. Um, when I first heard of this game, the cop aspect uh, was what really drew me into it. Um, I'm sort of old school, so when I heard cop, I immediately thought, oh great, I can get my friends uh, over to my house and play the game together. You know, couch cop. Man, I was wrong. Um, there's only online co-op for this game, uh, which is a shame because, you know, um, these types of games, it's better if you play with friends, right? Not online, but couch cop. Imagine this game with four-player cop, couch cop, it'll be a blast, let me tell you. Anyway, I was a little disappointed, but then again, the game uh, itself came in this little neat collector's edition, uh, so I bought it anyway, and here it is, okay? So the front of the box um, has these little holes, I don't know if you can see this, has these little holes punched out and it shows the hieroglyphs uh, which is printed on the main box which I'll show you a little bit later on. I'm not sure um, if there's a purpose to this and I'm not sure whether there's a hidden message. Uh, so if anyone knows, please share in the comments, uh, much appreciated. So anyway, there it is, these are the holes punched on the side, uh, on either side, okay. Uh, the back shows the features and the contents and as you can see there, it says one to four player campaign. You've got treacherous traps and puzzles, horde and score tech mode, but yeah, it's actually, I don't know if you can see it, it's actually, it says here one player, and then network players is two to four, which is a, yeah, it's a shame, but yeah, anyway. Uh, it also shows you the contents of what's inside. You've got here the exclusive collector's edition box, uh, this steel box, exclusive steel book, might I add. Uh, the game disc itself, the di digital content, uh, the art book, and the build your own airship. All right, cool. Uh, so let's slide the sleeve off, and I'm gonna do this with as much grace as I can because it's tight. So um, yeah. So anyway, bear with me. So here we go. Oh, there we go. There's a trick there. And hey. Okay. So here's the main box, right, and here are the hieroglyphs that I mentioned earlier, uh, that's printed on either side, right, there and there, and like I mentioned before, uh, there's these holes punched um, on the sleeve, right, on both sides. Now like I said, you know, just get, there it is. Now like I said, I, I don't know if there's any, um, you know, if there's a hidden message behind it, uh, but yeah, like I said, share it in the comments uh, if, if, if you want, right. All right, let's get that out of the way. Uh, so the box itself. So it's got, again, it's got a nice look to it. It, it looks like one of those old timey boxes uh, with the metal corners, as you can see there. It's all painted. Um, it's all painted, of course. Uh, hinge there. Uh, a couple of stickers. Um, you know, the top looks like um, like actually it looks like a like a briefcase sort of. Yeah, well, without the you know without the hand. Uh, the back has nothing. It's just plain. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's nice. And the Strange Brigade uh, Collector's Edition Strange Brigade logo is also uh, shiny. Uh, but everything is is is, is is matte, matte. Uh, I guess um, yeah, it doesn't have a shine to it. Right, when we open the box, okay, the first thing we get is this card that shows the contents of this collector's edition. Now, I, I don't know why this is here, um, but yeah, it, <laughs> there it is, right? It's just the card. It's not a sticker, it's just the card. Below that, uh, we get a box that contains the scale model airship. Here we are. Hmm, now, what can I say about this? This box uh, is a little squished, right, as you can see there, okay? And I have no idea how that came about. Because when I bought this game, it was plastic wrapped. It was shrink wrapped. So whoever packed this must have squished it. Why? No idea. Anyway, the there's the um, uh, airship scale model box. Uh, there is the back of it. Easy to assemble, no scissors required, no glue required. 30 to 90 minutes to complete, um, which is, uh, yeah, there it is, there's the airship itself. If we open it up, um, the model is made from cardboard, All right, there we are, there's the um, instructions at the very back, uh, there it is, and oh, I don't know if you can see that, but it is made from, uh, actually, it is card and some sort of foam material, it's not fully cardboard, uh, but yeah, there it is, it's, uh, it's nicely done. Uh, unfortunately though, I will not be assembling the airship. Uh, reasons as to why. I don't want to ruin the set and I don't have space uh, to properly put it and show it off. Um, but you know, I'm sure there are other videos out there showcasing how the airship looks like. 
And I'm also sure that there are other videos out there that'll show you, um, you know, someone actually assembling this uh, fully. So, uh, you know, Google it and um, yeah, I'm sure you'll, you'll find one, right? Okay, below the airship box, we have the steel case. Strange Brigade steel case. Um, it's got an embossed cover, so if, you, if I tilt it a little bit, you can see there that is embossed, that, that the corners are embossed, uh, that's embossed itself, but the, um, but yeah, that, that's the only thing that's embossed, really. The, um, the head itself is not, the bust, sorry, is not embossed, embossed. Uh, the Strange Brigade logo is not embossed. Uh, there's the spine, and the back is just, you know, plain, right? If we open it up, you get the Blu-ray disc right there, which is, uh, in perfect condition, as you can see. You also get the weapon service pack, uh, DLC, voucher code. Uh, it's A, it expired, and B, I've already um, uh, redeemed it, but I'm gonna blur it anyway. Below that is a picture uh, of, of the four, one of the four, four playable characters in game, and that is it, right? In the steel case. Below the steel case, we have the art book. Now, both of the steel case and the art book sits in this uh, paper mold uh, with Egyptian artwork on the side, which is which is very nice. And that's it. There is nothing else but uh, you know below that. Um, I don't know. If, yeah, there's nothing else below that, right? The art book itself, uh, again, it's nicely nice and thick. Uh, art of Strange Brigade. There's back of it Department of Antiquities. And let's go over it, see what's inside. So the Art of Strange Brigade, uh, Table of Contents, Environment Concepts, Environment Design, Characters, Weaponry, Branding, and Key Art. There's environments there, uh, Egyptian setting obviously. There we are, and I think, uh, is that one of the um, puzzles in game? I can't remember. Uh, oh, that guy's gonna get in a lot of trouble. All right. It's a very nice game. Uh, it's yeah, it's it's very nice, and like I said, co-op is really. I would say co-op. I mean, I've never played co-op this game. Uh, none of my friends have this game for some reason, and um, yeah, I, I mean, I'd love to play co-op uh, in this game, and it's fun, I mean, especially with horde mode and time attack, score attack, whatever it is. It'd be fun, destroying hordes and hordes of uh, zombies and mummies. Yeah, it's just a shame that they never had um, local couch co-op. Right, those are the four characters there. Uh, there we are. I'm guessing that's the enemies. More enemies. More enemies. Weapons. Weapons. More weapons. And the branding and key art. There we are. A strange brigade. Also available for Xbox One. All right. Um, yeah, that's everything you get in this collector's edition. Uh, so yeah, so thank you for watching again. Make sure you click on the subscribe button and get the notification so you don't miss another video. Uh, if, also, if you like this video, uh, feel free to click on the like button. And I will see you all in the next video. See you later.